In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to write your own user-defined function in Excel. Now this is a very, very powerful feature and it enables you to really extend the capabilities of Excel to wherever you want. You can do anything once you've mastered this. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the Visual Basic Editor. I'm going to do some very, very simple stuff, so if you've never done any Visual Basic before or you don't know anything about it, then don't worry you'll be able to follow everything we do in this tutorial. First of all, let's load up the Visual Basic Editor by going to Tools, Macro and Visual Basic Editor. Um, you can also do this by using the Alt and F11 key together. But when we do that, you see we can now come into the Visual Basic Editor that comes in Excel. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this drop down here and insert a new module. Okay. So module tool, we've already got one there, I'm going to talk about that later. And I'm going to just basically type the following. I'm going to call it a public function. And I'm going to call it, in all good tradition, hello world. And I just press the return key. It's uh, always a joke in uh, programming uh, worlds that the first thing you ever do when you learn a new programming language is you do something that puts hello world up on the screen. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to write an Excel function that puts the word hello world up on the screen. So all I'm going to do is just going to put a simple message box up and it's going to say hello world. And that's it. That has now written myself an Excel function called Hello World. Let's go back to Excel. We can do it by clicking this button here. And in our spreadsheet now we're going to type equals Hello World. Open and close brackets to show that it's a function. And you see when we press return, it says Hello World in the message box. That's the MSG box command that does that. And I click OK and it then puts a zero in my spreadsheet. Okay, it puts a zero in my spreadsheet because there's no return value from that function. Let's go back to the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11 at the same time, or through the menus that we did last time. And what we're going to do is we're going to say this function returns a string. Okay, and a string in programming terms means uh, it's going to produce a set of text. Okay, So what I'm going to put down here is I'm going to put uh, hello world equals hello there, like so. So what this will do now is whenever this function is called it will put hello world up on the screen. It will then set the parameter hello world equal to hello there and that is effectively what will then get returned back to Excel. So let's watch what happens now when I refresh that equation here simply by clicking in and returning. First of all I get my hello world message box and then it actually puts hello there in the cell. So let's go back macro visual basic editor. We can do with these functions anything we like. Okay, We can take parameters in, we can return a single parameter and we can do whatever calculations, whatever logic we need to do within this set of codings. I've got uh, a real life example here, something I put together uh, for someone in the library. Um, we wanted to be able to take prefixes out of text. Let me show you the sheet see what I mean. So here we had a series of numeric and alphanumeric characters and what we wanted to do was to take a split point in each text string to be where the numbers finish and the text start or where the text starts or where the text finishes excuse me and the numbers start. So we created a user definable function called prefix and if we go back to my Excel sheet here. Here is that public function prefix. It takes a text string, so it takes the cell input as a string value, 
and it returns a string. And this code here, effectively what it's doing is it uses the isNumeric function to look at the first character in the string that was passed. And it decides if that's numeric, yes or no. And then it loops around the whole of that function, or the whole of that string rather, and finds where suddenly is numeric turns from being the same as it was on the first character to something different, i.e. when the numbers stop being numbers and they become text, or where text stops being text and becomes numbers. It then takes the, what's on the left hand side of that cutoff point and puts it into the prefix value. Okay, And then it says at the bottom, if the prefix still hasn't been set, then set the prefix equal the text that came in. So now if we look at Excel here, we can put anything we want in here, so let's put, change that and you can see immediately that changes into, uh, into the prefix. One of the important things to, to learn when looking at writing VBA code is to learn to debug it. I've got a separate tutorial on debugging code using this example in the library. I want to keep this quite focused on what it's teaching here. So, all we've got to do, macro, Visual Basic Editor. Now, I will say one thing, it catches a lot of people out. If we're going to use definable functions, they must be in modules down here and not within the sheets up here. Okay, so you do need to do insert module from this drop down, or I think you can do it here as well. Yeah, look, insert module into your spreadsheet to actually get that to work. Also, doing another tutorial on where exactly to save these. Do you save it in the workbook? Do you save it in a separate workbook, in an Excel add in, and things like that will be coming along into the tutorial shortly. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. You can download this example so you can get this. Uh, this user definable prefix macro uh, completely free of charge as part of this tutorial and um, have a play. Good luck. Just do simple stuff to start with and then um, see if you can build on it from there.